That's my absolute favorite photograph of Susie. It staggers me that um, Susie, who has this kind of innate relationship with the camera, yeah. can be so fiercely uh, reluctant to be photographed. And it's really that framing of the face of the hair, the, the black hair, and the, and the framing of the white face that's really uh, interesting. There's a little audio clip that I wanted to play through to you as well. If you want to listen to this one. The first time I saw Susie was at the Victoria and Albert Museum in London. And when she came walking in, all the things I had obsessed over for all the years, pictures of movie stars, Jenny Agutter in the Billabong, Anita Ekberg in the fountain, Ali McGraw in her black tights, images from the TV when I was a kid, Barbara Eden and Elizabeth Montgomery and Abigail, Miss World competitions, Marilyn Monroe and Jennifer Jones and Bo Derrick and Angie Dickinson as policewoman, Maria, Maria Falconetti and, and Susie Quattro in Bolshoi ballerinas and Russian gymnasts, Wonder Woman and Barbarallo in supermodels and page three girls. All the endless, impossible fantasies. The young girls at the Wangaratta pool lying on the hot concrete, Corbet's origin of the world, Bataille's bowl of milk, Gene Simmons' nose ring. All the stuff I had heard and seen and read. Advertising and TV commercials, billboards and fashion spreads and Playmate of the Month. Caroline Jones dying in Elvis' arms, Jackie O in mourning, Tinkerbell trapped in the drawer. All the continuing, never-ending drip feed of erotic data came together at that moment in one great big crash bang. And I was lost to her. And that was that.